dahil catering is life, motherhood is lifer, and TikTok is lifest, gagawa tayo today ng chicken cordon blue. The first thing we need to do is nilipisan natin yung chicken breast. After nun, ihahammer natin siya or ipapound natin para mag-loosen up yung muscle at saka magkaroon ng even space for rolling later. Next is gagawa tayo ng simple na brine which is white sugar at saka salt and then water. Babad natin ito for one and a half hours or two hours at least para lumambot at pumasok din yung flavor sa manok. Next is we will prepare our coating. So that's the panko breadcrumbs at saka cornstarch. Magkahiwalay siya na container and then we will beat our eggs. Depende na sa'yo kung gaano karaming egg yung makukonsume mo. Sunod, hiwain na natin yung ating cheese. So, baka may magtaka, bakit hindi yung slices na or slice na cheese na yung ginamit ko? Later, you will see why. Plus, you can use any kind of ham. I use the CDO sweet ham. Kapag complete na yung ingredients mo, nasa sa'yo na yun kung ano pang gusto mong stuffing na ilagay. Pero pag kompleto na yung ingredients mo, pwede na tayo mag-roll. Ilalapat mo lang yung chicken breast mo and then put the ham and then add your cheese. So dahil gusto ko evenly rolled siya, pinipira-piraso ko yung cheese para mamaya kapag inikot mo siya, yung kabilang side meron pa ring cheese. Ayan, so ba diba, kapag tiniklop mo siya, hindi siya later magro-roll with the cheese. So yan, makikita mo, I'm rolling slowly. It's very slippery. You can dry the breast if you want to. On my end, I like it wet para kumapit din yung crumbs later. Maraming nagsasabi, napaka-common na daw nitong cordon blue sa catering. Pero ako, every time nakakakita ako ng cordon blue sa cater, nai-impress ako kasi hindi to madaling gawin. Kapag tapos mo na siyang i-coat with the egg and then the cornstarch and then the breadcrumbs, ilagay na natin siya sa cling wrap or sa plastic wrap. And then we will freeze overnight. And makikita mong buo-buo na siya. I-dunk mo siya ulit sa egg and then coat it finally with your last coating na breadcrumbs or the panko crumbs. This will ensure na hindi lalabas yung cheese. Tapos yung plastic kanina will ensure yung sizes natin are even. Kasi mahirap magluto ng pare-parehas na oras kapag hindi pare-parehas yung kapal niya sa loob. We all know, ang chicken breast mabilis mag-toughen. So, kapag ka may nag-ooze out na na cheese, that is your call or warning na luto na yung inside niya. So, we just put it in the oven for a few more minutes para sure na sure tayong evenly cooked siya. And then, wait for it to cool down before slicing it or else malalabog yung cheese mo. Yun lang. Thank you.